I'm going to roll out of that quite happily. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Firm four on that of Palace. Oh, I shouldn't try that. <laughs> oh dear. I should have thought Palo would have known different than to try a thing like that. Even if he hits exactly the right spot, he's going to be in trouble. That's more like it, Jackie. That's uh, more chance if he keeps the balls. Uh, finger in the lock. Especially with uh, Fagler's left hand. It works really well. Half a minute to go in the second round. Top for a folding press, but Quango's feet on the bottom line. Don't take no notice of that. It's a Look how she bowed it. Too much of that. Okay. <laughs> Johnny Quango from uh, Lagos, Nigeria, 13.7. And 13.7 is just over the heavy middleweight, upper limit, into the light heavies. So it's two weights, really, that Jackie Palo, his opponent, this morning, is going up to take on Quango. Pretty good effort, because obviously he's more powerful, and much heavier, and equal experience. Here goes the polish. Now, Jackie Palo could be in trouble. Bring that bell. Come on, bring that bell. Seconds away and round three. Four rounds to go. Palo coming in with a foot faster than Quango could come in with a head. He started it. A jaw hold. The Quango jaw special. Side headlock. Palo quick again on the attack. I'm only pressing his nose. Palo trying to get a I'm not in the IRF. I'm on the nose. Yeah. He's got my bare ribbon! Don't do not I'm still going in, Kane, don't yeah. worry. <laughs> This is the way to love your neighbour. <laughs> Not bad, of course. Johnny Quango appeared in a couple of those uh, programs of that Love Thy Neighbour series. Slow and coming over, but the cross press still won't oh. hold much danger. I don't think for Franklin. Hey, 
It's not, uh, yes, it's a little bit too easy for Fango to get up from that. And Paolo not to be happy about that. Fango says it was okay above the belt. Paolo doesn't, and the referee is very doubtful. Yes, Paolo not happy at all about that kick. Accident, accident. Oh yes, a hype. And the jaw hold again. Toe holds to Palo with one minute to go in the third. <laughs> slap him, slap him. Open hand while we're trying to go too much. <laughs> Follow up, but not far enough up. Last 30 seconds. Come on, come on, come on! The knee which Crankle should lift off quite easily, he doesn't even bother to lift it. <laughs> Both of them slapping a bit, but it won't last long because the bell will go any second. I don't know why. I don't know why Paolo worries about the bell being uh, rung. Then he hadn't got any advantage at all. Is that your mum? Is that your mum? You're gonna look like her when you're 50, though. <laughs> well, he's he's certainly being rude back. But he's taking. I think yes. There was that young lady in the uh, middle. He's still talking. <laughs> Seconds away, round four. Round four, three rounds to go. And one fall decides this bout between Jackie Paolo of Highbury, London at 12 stone four, Johnny Quango, West Africa at 13 stone seven. A catchweight contest, complete weight class in between these two. <laughs> you silly boy. One, yes, two, step. Three, Perfectly legitimate. Four, five, no, no, no. That isn't. Paolo tries all this arrogant stuff, but he's asking for this headbutt all the time. Mind you, I imagine it's pretty solemn that uh, Paolo in the low middleweights has taken on a light heavyweight, uh, Quango. Certainly hasn't been on television. Oh, no. Reverse side headlock now to Quango. Hello, 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 hello,
Yeah, that's good. Back beautifully over, but a little too late. No, it isn't. He got a second chance of folding press, and very near the ropes. Can he hold it? He can and does. It's Palo's got it over the heavier Quango. A pretty good effort. I would have bet against that, but Jackie Palo has made it again in round four. Now one and a Jackie Palo. Now one for the loser, please, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Quango.